Hello, everyone. My name is Qing Song Liu, and I'm from Tsinghua University. I like to talk about my paper, simultaneously achieving sublinear regret and conjugal violations for online convex optimization with timeline constraints. This is the joint work with Wen Fei Wu, Nong Bo Huang, and Zhi Xuan Fang from Tsinghua University too. The outline of this talk is that first I introduce the motivation and the problem formulation, then I talk about the related works and our lower algorithm. After that, I will summarize our main results of this paper, and finally, I end up with the simulation results. Constraint of the current optimization, or OCO with long-term and timeline constraints, has become one of the most popular online learning frameworks in recent years. Due to its powerful modeling capability for various problems such as online network routing, online network resources allocation, online job scheduling, and online for computation offloading. Next, I introduce the formulation of OCO problems with timeline constraints. At each round t, the agent inks a loss function ft and the constraint requirement gt. Here we assume ft and gt are time varying and only revealed after the decision making. The goal of the agent is to minimize the accumulated incurred loss while satisfying the timeline constraint in the long term perspective. Specifically, we aim to solve this online optimization problem. However, solving this problem is challenging in the online setting since FT and GT are known to the agent. Recent advances in OCO with timeline constraints, usually based on the modified online side point method and cannot guarantee some inner regret and conjoint violations simultaneously. Besides, they will assume the silly condition holds, which is restricted in many scenarios. The only method which can achieve some linear regret and constraint violation simultaneously is proposed by Chao and Liu, but their results are only valid when the accumulated variations of the environment is known to the agent in advance, which is not parameter free. Hence, none of the parameter free methods can guarantee the some linear regret and constraint violations simultaneously. Thus, a crucial challenge is to achieve some linear regret and conjoint violation simultaneously. This motivates our work. In this paper, we consider the dynamic regret and conjoint violations as the performance matrix. Our goal is to choose ST in each round T such that both the dynamic regret and conjoint violations go sublinearly with respect to the time horizon. Note that the benchmark we used in the regret definition is the per slot minimizer sequence. Why we choose it as our benchmark is that the loss and constraint functions are time varying, and this form of, of regret is more meaningful than the regret using static benchmark in dynamic environments. Intuitively, the performance bounds of any online algorithm should depend on how drastically loss and constraint functions vary across time. In other words, the temporal variations of the dynamic environment Thus, we need to quantify the temporal variations of the dynamic environment. There are many two kinds of regularities used in the literature. The one is the past length, which is defined as the accumulated variation of first slot minimizers. The other is the accumulated variation of consecutive constraints. We denote it by function variation. Before specifying our algorithm, Descent, we introduce some assumptions here. Specifically, we assume the diameter of the feasible side, the function value of loss and constraint, and their gradients are upon bounded. These assumptions are very common in the literature of constraint OCO. In our paper, we propose a lower virtual cube based algorithm named VQB. We illustrate it in X1. We introduce a sequence of dual variables, lambda t. We also call them virtual queues. The purpose of we introducing the virtual queues is that we can characterize the regret and constraint violations through the drift plus parity 
expression and then analyze the regret and congenital violations based on it, just like the Neapol of optimization in stochastic network. Here we elaborate on the novelty and the intuition of the entire algorithmic approach of VQB. Note that if there are no constraints, in other words, gt equals to zero, then we can derive that lambda t equals to zero too. And the update rule of the decision variables is equivalent to this gradient descent method, which is exactly the OGD algorithm. Hence, when there's no constraints, we could be reduced to OGD algorithm. This uh, this uh, widely used method in classical OCO literature. In our algorithm, we could be if we define QD to be the vector of virtual Q, backlogs, and define Nyapur drift dirt T like this. The intuition, the intuition of behind VQB is to choose ST plus 1 to minimize the uh, upbound of this expression, where, which is exactly the penalty plus the NIAP drift. Note that since ST plus 1 has not been determined at round T plus 1, we replace GTX plus T plus 1 with GTX in NIAP drift and uh, omit the constant term. Then the expression of the penalty plus the NIAP drift is equivalent to this form. And it is a lateral mass in stochastic network optimization incorporated with the stability requirement. The drift term could be used to evaluate the constraint violations and is closely related to the virtual queues. The regularization term included in the penalty term could smoothen the difference between the coherent actions and make the whole expression strongly convex. The remaining term describes the optimization problem. Similar ideas of updating dual variables based on virtual queues are adopted in this very recent works for OCO with long term and time environment constraints. But there are some differences between our work and theirs. First, the algorithm cannot deal with the timeline constraints, and their analysis is based on the static regret. Second, in order to ensure both regret and constraint violations are simultaneously sublinear for the timeline constraint citing, we design a new way of involving instantaneously per slot constraint violation into the virtual queues and decision sequence update. Moreover, the learning rates of our algorithm, including RFT and GAMT, are timeline, while the learning rates of the algorithm in these two works are in unchanged in the whole time horizon. Therefore, our algorithm needs a new update and constraint violations analyzed due to the new update rule of virtual queues and the timeline parameters. Now I present the upbounds on the dynamic regret and constraint violations for VQB. From this result, we indeed achieve some linear regret and constraint violations simultaneously. I have shown that our algorithm could achieve some near regret and conjunctural violations simultaneously without the state condition before. Indeed, in many practical constraint OCO problems, the variation of consecutive constraints is smooth across time. In other words, the state condition holds. Thus, there is a question arising that whether the state condition can lead to better bounds of constraint violations for VQB. The answer is yes, and we indeed get better performance guarantees under this late condition. We show this result in theorem 2. Note that when state condition holds, our algorithm can obtain a constant upbound of conjunctural violations. There are several advantages stated as following that makes our results outperform previous studies. First, VQB can guarantee some near regret and conjunctural violations simultaneously. Where previous studies listed in this table do not always simultaneously guarantee the sub inner regret and the conjunct violations since their performance bounds may be at least of the word T. Second, the dynamic regret upbound guaranteed by our algorithm could match the state of the other dynamic regret bound in classic OCO in many cases. 
Third, when Poston is not too large, for example, it has the word less than the square root of t, the regret and conjoint violations bounds presented in the first case of theorem 1 are all lower than the seal of the art. And the dynamic regret bound presented in the second case of theorem 1 also outperforms all existing works and the corresponding constraint violations are also strictly sublinear. Besides, when the steady condition holds, we can achieve a constant upbound conjoint violations, which outperform all existing works. Moreover, our algorithm is pyramid free, that is, the parameters in VQB do not require prior information of the regularities. Meanwhile, theorem 1 holds no matter whether the three condition holds or not. The theoretical results of most previous studies are valid either under the three condition or the word of the regularities are known to the agent. Now I'm going to show the connection between constraint violations and the Q system stability and give some insights about what does the sublinear constraint violations mean. Following the framework developed in QNI and the network optimization community, we create a real Q to back up the constraints, and QT involves according to the following dynamics. Hence, the Q length at the beginning of round T is a counter that keeps track of the dead to constraints up to round T. Note that the sub inner conjoint violations means the real Q system is mean read stable. In practical Q system, mean read stability is implied by stronger notion called strong stability and the constant upbound conjoint violations is sufficient to show that the real Q system is strongly stable. We also conduct simulation experiments to validate the theoretical performance of our algorithm. Specifically, we consider the online reach regulation problem as the simulation example. We compare the time average regrets and the constraint violations of our algorithm with previous works in two different settings. The baselines we compared are listed here. In our first setting, we set both Vx and Vg high with the order of natural logarithm of t. From this finger, we can see that our algorithm VQB achieves no least time average regret and conjoint violations, which validates our theoretical results. Moreover, we can also see that the regrets achieved by VQB on two parameter settings are very close which is consistent with the theoretical results in theorem 1, that the regret upbounds between them are identical. We also said both Vs and Vg have the order of square root of t. In this setting, the regret bounds of all baselines are at least the order of t. From this finger, we notice that all methods can guarantee some linear conjoint violation in this case which matches the theoretical results of these baselines. This finger also shows that VQB can achieve some simultaneously some linear regret and conjoint violation, where other baselines cannot, which matches their theoretical results. We observe that the third baseline achieves a near some linear regret in this setting. Yet, this, this may not always be the case due to its linear regret bound. Or the performance bounds established by them may not be tight. Besides, the regrets of the VQB are better, which also coincides our theoretical bounds in this setting. So, uh, that's all for my presentation. Thanks for listening.